Welcome to the realm of Terraria, a land full of endless possibilities and exciting discoveries yet to be found. I loaded into my world with nothing but basic copper tools and a dream. The first thing I did to work towards my dreams was to chop down trees. When I was getting that hard lumber, I was jumped by a slime. I put it in its place pretty quickly. Once I have harvested a satisfying amount of wood, I decided to build my villager's first house. I made a simple home, just a box with a roof on top, nothing special yet. I decided to finish the interior of this home with a crafting table, chair, wood walls, and torches. I then added some tiki torches since I have never built with them before and wanted to try it out. I really like their aesthetic, they're visually pleasing. I added some fencing to the sides of this house to make it actually look like someone lives there. The slimes were getting pretty annoying so I introduced them to my handy sword. I then added a bonfire to the yard of the house and then started to make some gear out of wood. The guide was looking like he needed a talk, so I greeted him and learned his name is Tran. Yuck. To turn Trent's house into a home, I gave it a sign and named it Shack de la Trent. Curiosity got the best of me, so I decided to explore the surrounding environment by heading west, where I stumbled upon a giant tree. I got stuck at the bottom of the tree and decided I didn't want to climb up, so I teleported home. I decided to keep heading west to explore some more. I was then ambushed by a bunch of zombies, so I had to teach them a lesson. There 
was a cave, and in it was a chest with a radar. I wasn't interested in exploring the cave some more, so I tried my luck heading west again. When I was digging out of the cave, I found the snow biome and it happened to be storming, so I wanted to go home. Feeling like my house was a little lonely, I decided to find a place to build another house. This was the beginning of my civilization. Once house number two was finished, I explored towards the east and I quickly found some tin ore. I then stumbled upon another cave. I explored the cave system and mined up a lot of ores.
I even found a heart crystal too. Cool. The cave system ended up being a dead end, so I teleported home once again. the need to mine some more, I decided to make a mine shaft next to my house so I could gather some more resources. And then the merchant showed up. Shaft ended up leading to a cave, so I took the opportunity to explore it, mining some ores, and I even found a teal mushroom. giant worm decided to bother me and I didn't feel like I had the gear to fight it off so I decided to go home. Once I was home I took this opportunity to meet with a merchant. I gave his store a unique name. I bought some items from the merchant and then we went our separate ways. The house looked like it needed some decorations, and I also needed a workstation, so I decided to place a furnace and an anvil down and started to make some gear, and I even placed in a statue. That is all for this episode of Terraria. Next episode, I'll be gathering more resources and upgrading my gear. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.